I've been curious about a few items on Teemu for a long time. So now I bought one of those items and I'm going to bring you along with me to check it out. All right. It's a night vision monocular and let's see what's in it. You get a cord. This is to help transfer all the imagery that you record on this because it does record over to your computer. Not really sure what this is for, but it's got a little thing in it. Instructions, a little lens cleaner, and the monocular. Let's see what kind of batteries it takes. It's a rechargeable battery, so that cord also recharges these. I'm going to have to see how long the battery lasts too. It feels real cheap and plasticky, but I guess it doesn't matter how it feels, it's how it works. It's got a little screen back here. Here's the menu button, the mode button, and we'll go over all this in a second, and the on and off button. And when you come in here, you have the USB-C connector, and then you also have a micro SD card holder. On the bottom, you can screw this into a tripod so it stays steady. On the front, you have the front lens. You have the IR LED. You have the microphone right here. And then this is the target reference. Powering it on. It says welcome. There are three modes. The first one I'm going to show you is the video. When you click the button on the top, that's the photo button, it starts recording. You click it off and it turns off, and now that video is stored. When you click it another time, it comes to the photo where you can take still photos. Click it and it takes a photo and it stores it on the card also. And the third mode, when you click it, is the playback. And you can play back your video right here. But when you push the menu button, this menu comes up. You have the image size. When you click on the top button up here, the photo button, it's on the top of the monocular. All the sizes will come up. You'll be able to change that right there. If you go down using your Zoom in and zoom out on the top. You got a resolution. You click it. Here's all the resolutions they have right there. Come down to screen save. And you can turn that on and off, or you can do it with a one, three, or five minutes. Brightness for when you're out on the uh, on the deer stand, you can do it to low. Medium, medium or high. Change the frequency on this thing, the hertz. I'm gonna change over to 60. And then you have auto power off. You can set it for one, two, three. So you don't run your battery down when you're messing with stuff. I'm gonna leave it off for now. And that is the menu. And you also have the power off button, and this is what happens when you power it off. It says goodbye. There's a zoom in and zoom out, and it goes in 10 times. When you click that forward button for the IR forward, it goes into 10. And you can use the little adjuster on the front make this a little clearer. There you go. And you can come back. Now this is all color right now. It's fairly light out, so we're not going to be able to do the dark until the next scene. So you'll be able to get back to it very quickly. So let's go to the night scene and see how it looks at night. Then we're going to download the video over to the computer and see how it looks. 
Ha ha, here we go. Uh, this is a photo of my pigs right there. Don't worry about what uh, Tubby is doing to uh, Molly. Well, this is before I turn on the IR light. I'm going to go ahead and hit on the IR light right here, and you'll see it, uh, how much better it is. And there you have it. The IR light is on, which brightens everything up. You can see this video looks great. Um, it's about uh, about 90% overcast right now uh, while I'm videoing, and I'm approximately 200, 250 feet away, and I don't even have it zoomed in, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and try the audio on the video so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Test out. I left the audio on this whole video and you can hear the goats in the background. Bang. So now it's raining and I'm using the actual audio from the camera. And with that, I'm going to try to zoom in and see how fast, so you can see how fast it zooms in. This is it zooming in over at the feeder. That is totally zoomed in right there. So zooming back out. So we just saw the video. This is a photo of one of the goats and it looks pretty good. All right, I played with these things for a few days. Now it's time to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. As I always do, I wanna start off with the bad because I like to give you something at the end to keep a good taste in your mouth, so, so to speak. The first con I'd like to talk about this is how it feels. This plastic, it's very light, and I'm not sure it would withstand what I would put it through. It may just be that I'm used to being in the military, and our stuff was a lot more robust, uh, made with high-impact, thick plastic or metal. There are two ways to upload the video to your computer. One is plugging a USB up and turning it off and on, and it should come up on your computer. And the other way is the SD card. I had trouble with both ways. Some of the videos did not transfer over using the SD card, and I had a hard time bringing it up on my computer. The last con I want to talk about is the zoom in and zoom out. It takes forever to zoom in and zoom out. And the video does not record the actual video of you zooming in and zooming out. Not sure why. That's it. That's all the cons that I found for this. The three of them right there. Now it's time to talk about the pros. Number one, I want to talk about the menu mode on and off switch. These things are in a great place. They also are very easy to follow when you come up on the screen as I showed you earlier. You're able to turn the IR on and off by double tapping this forward LED button. It's really easy to focus in on stuff with this focus knob right here. Lastly, I want to talk about the video and photo quality. You saw all the pixel ratings that you can do with these things, and it really looks good on the computer. It's not grainy or anything, especially when you get the IR going on it. Overall, I paid about $40 for these things. Are they worth it? I think they absolutely are. It's a good buy off of Timu. I really thought that uh, I would get something really crappy and they surprised me. So I would say that this is a good buy. All right, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about this system right here, this monocular, head down to the description, ask me there. And until next video, stay cool.